Hi everyone. Today in this class, I am going to explain you tetrahedral point group, and this is what one of the special symmetry point group which express the um, geometry, right? Specific uh, structural molecule here we can explain. Here uh, it is the tetrahedral point group express the tetrahedral geometry molecules. In this tetrahedral mo uh, molecule, when we write up the molecular structure, if we are con considering a tetrahedral complex, four coordinated tetrahedral complex, the complex will be like this. And here in this complex, the tetrahedral geometry never be a two dimensional molecule. The representing uh, on paper, I am written all these ligands in an one paper in an one phase, but actually, this molecule is never be like that, right? It will be a different three dimensional structure, it is three dimensional structure where the centrally situated metal will have topward one of the ligand in downward three ligands where they are angularly one is front the other two are in back left and right okay the middle metal will be there in top there is an one ligand right in down there are three ligands in the three down one will be front the other two will be in back side the in back there is one ligand in left the other in right right it would be the model could present like this right the metal will be in middle topward one ligand in down there are four ligands right front side one in down front side one the back side two right in which back side the left side one, right side another one, right. That's how the tetrahedral geometry, right. So to have examine the uh, symmetry elements in tetrahedral, right. Not only this particular uh, four coordinated uh, complex, you can also go with an organic moiety such as methane. The best example for an organic moiety in tetrahedral geometry is methane right thus methane also same has hydrogen middle carbon it will be have for the middle carbon there is an topward hydrogen downward three hydrogens and downward three hydrogen one is front the other two are back one is the back carbons are one um, back hydrogens are one is left another is right right so right tetrahedral geometry right to examine the symmetry elements in tetrahedral uh, we have to be no certain uh, structural elements right so saying that vertices and uh, trigonal planes and uh, edges right from now onwards we will going to discuss tetrahedral geometry point group octahedral geometry point group right tetrahedral point group octahedral point group and icosahedron point group clayhedron point group where uh, in initial three right tetrahedral octahedral icosahedron will be mostly describe the symmetry element with respect of these three uh, elements in the each uh, geometry even in tetrahedral or octahedral or icosahedral we're going to have these three elements in uh, uh, point group vertices vertices uh, vertices and uh, trigonal planes and edges right so how many number of vertices pairs pairs of vertices it has it has the geometry how many pairs of 
uh, opposite trigonal phases it has how many pairs of opposite edges it has with this respect we will be going to have the symmetry elements right so when you going to uh, when you go analysis you will come to know the uses of these three initially let us know what is vertices right trigonal plane you may know right there are trigonal phases in these uh, structures right tetrahedral octahedral icosahedron will have trigonal phases trigonal phases looking to that right so here in down when we see this is what the one of the trigonal phase right for the four, three ligands whatever it has occupying in down they will create an uh, imaginary trigonal phase right like that and when you when you uh, uh, add these three ligands topward one downward two this is another trigonal phase and this is third one and the fourth one like this the tetrahedral will going to have four trigonal phases one is this the other is two and three and four like this right here also same right so like this the trigonal phases and vertices it means corner side corner sides right in in chemistry we will going to express the corners in a term of vertices or vertex when it is one it is vertex when it is multiple plural of vertex it is vertices thus vertices are here right the corner sides here when we check the corner sides are what the ligand occupying things or hydrogen occupying things in methyl or the corner sides how many they are in tetrahedral they are one two three four four right like this here also four like this the vertices and when it come to edges the corners linking line will be an edge here to ligand linking line will be an imaginary line will be edge right that's how this is the one edge two three four five six right like that there are six edges right so writing this all right in tetrahedral there are four vertices are there one two three four four corners thus will be called as vertices right and trigonal phases how many trigonal phases are there one is this two second is this third is this and fourth is this right that's how four trigonal phases also there right and edges when we count right this is the one two three right ligand linking lines will be edges right this is one this is two this is three right and this is four this is five and this is six like this all together there are six edges in the trigonal molecule trigonal geometry will have six edges four trigonal phases and four vertices right when we when we looking into the symmetry elements with these factors it will be very very flexible and easier to remember right so far we will be express initially these elements in tetrahedral or octahedral or icosahedral right so here in tetrahedral these are the elements right so when we look into the symmetry elements in this particular tetrahedral it surely will have the identity right identity will be consist every molecule identity will be there for every moiety right what are the geometry right what are the thing it has in some certain structure it will be consist surely consist the identity element so here tetrahedral also will consist identity element right so no bother about this so when it going for the rotational axis right rotational axis so looking into the rotational axis when we take a methane right for here the methane right when you are passing a rotational axis an imaginary axis passing through topward hydrogen from the center of carbon and middle for the trigonal phase of bottom right bottom there is an trigonal phase no? for the trigonal phase centrally passing axis which is passed through carbon which is passed through hydrogen carbon hydrogen bond and hydrogen right that's how when we take an axis and when we do the rotation of 120 120 what happens the similar hydrogen is going to be shift one by after one one by other then when there is an similar atoms are 
replacing each other then what happens the generated configuration surely an equivalent configuration right this is what we expressed in the hints in uh, uh, hints in symmetry right i given you third uh, video right about the symmetry there i given the hints right to get the symmetry easierly in the molecule we have to be have generating every time we will be generate the equivalent configuration for that equivalent configuration there are two uh, two ways we have to get the two uh, equivalent configuration in this one will be what without changing the atom position when we are generating an equivalent uh, in when we are generating a configuration right when we are applying a symmetry element the symmetry element when it is not changing the atom position the generated configuration surely an equivalent configuration right that here it may not be possible rotation will be uh, will not be restrict to all the element to say settle in the same place right so we have to be move right so in this condition when the similar atoms are moving each other replacing each other in this way when it is happened the generated configuration surely an equivalent configuration right so here by taking an axis middle of trigonal face and passing through carbon hydrogen bond right top of carbon hydrogen bond when we take and when we do 120 degrees of rotation what happens the carbon and top hydrogen get same positions h1 2 3 4 when it consider the carbon h1 positions will be still remain same still remains same isn't it so look look at into the model right let we let we check into the model right this is what the uh, tetrahedral right methane tetrahedral right so here the carbon and these are the orange balls are considered as a hydrogens right right how we are taking the axis we are taking an axis which is middle of bottom trigonal face right this is what the trigonal face na which covers the all three hydrogens in the down from which we are taking middle point from that we are passing an axis through the carbon through the hydrogen bond right like this we are considering right which is passing through carbon which is passing through hydrogen carbon and middle of the trigonal face bottom trigonal face right in this way when we take an axis and do 180 120 degrees of rotation right so when we do rotation this is how the rotation angle it will be right so doing this 120 degrees of rotation what happens you look right so what happening right when it completes here it will be 120 degrees right so initially how does we take in the uh, geometry h1 is in top right h3 is here h2 and h4 right so Take an axis passing through H1 and carbon. Those positions may not be changed because the rotation uh, axis passing those two angles, right? Those two atoms, so they may not be changed the position. When we do 120 degrees of rotation, the downal hydrogens are getting replaced to each other, right? So with this replacement, right? What is happening? The carbon and H1 positions are not changed. whereas the donal hydrogens are getting exchange where the h4 is replaced by h2 and h3 is replaced by h4 and h2 is replaced by h3 right that's how the configuration to generate right so when we compare these to this this is original configuration when we take in right generated configuration is this right so in this right initially what we take in this is the configuration we taken and after the rotation we got this is that any uh, dramatic change it happening by the rotation of 120 degrees no it is similar molecular structure is generated tetrahedral structure is generated and the position of hydrogens are similarly it taken place right so when that is happening the generated configuration will be a equivalent configuration an equivalent configuration right an equivalent configuration is generating so when that is happens the rotation what we done will be called as rotational axis of symmetry and it is particularly c3 rotational axis of symmetry by doing 120 degrees right 120 degrees nothing but 360 by 120 it equal to 3 so cn will become c3 c3 one equivalent configuration when we do second time another equivalent configuration will generate you you observe that 
and when we do third time it will be generate identical configuration identical configuration right so like this in the tetrahedral molecule there is an c3 rotation axis right c3 rotation axis is the c3 is only one is there c3 sir more yeah there will be more why why because how there there will be more because by taking one of the trigonal face and it suppose it uh, hydrogen atom by through the hydrogen carbon hydrogen carbon bond we take an axis which is passing through the middle of the trigonal face by thus when we take an axis and do 120 degrees of rotation generating a, a c3 rotational axis like this there are four carbon to hydrogen bonds are there isn't it there are four carbon to hydrogen bonds are there and similar to that and each carbon to hydrogen bond in oppositely there is an trigonal face like this right for this carbon hydrogen bond there is an opposite trigonal face is this right when you take this particular carbon hydrogen bond there is another trigonal face which is like this and like this and like this right so like this there with this uh, uh, carbon hydrogen bond and taking an axis which is middle to the this particular trigonal face right and do 120 that is also generated another an equivalent configuration so which means this is also what we take in this particular angular uh, axis also will become a third fold rotational axis right like this with the each carbon hydrogen bond which is um, opposite to the trigonal face when we take and do 120 degrees of rotation will generate say c3 rotational axis right which means from the vertices of right from the vertices and opposite trigonal face what is nothing but this is right from this to the trigonal face right when we take an axis passing to like this right so where vertices to opposite trigonal face when we take an axis and do 120 degrees rotation it is a c3 it is generating a equivalent configuration and it is a third fold rotational axis right so thus means all together there are four c3 rotational axis from the vertices and trigonal face opposite trigonal face right there in c3 there is c3 1 and c3 2 two equivalent configurations are generating for the third fold rotational axis so far we will be considered c3 1 and c3 2 so totally four c3 1 four c3 2 are generated in the tetrahedral geometry like this right have you got this right now is there more any rotational axis for here yeah there are more again there are more rotational axis are possible right so here the possible more rotational axis when we look right before that looking i would like to change the orientation how we look towards the uh, tetrahedral geometry so that you will comfortably gets the next type of rotational axis right so what I do is this particular tetrahedral I will just slightly uh, tilt the how oriented I look into the tetrahedral right so before getting to the structure let us let us explain the change what I am going to see into the tetrahedral geometry so this is what the tetrahedral geometry right where topward one hydrogen downward three one is front two are back where left is one right is one thus i will just move like this i'll just move like this i didn't change any change towards the tetrahedral geometry is i changed still it is in tetrahedral geometry even if i hold the multi like this molecular model even i hold like this it is the same geometry i didn't change anything it is tetrahedral only this is the tetrahedral what we generally look into the tetrahedral like slightly i tilted the mode how orientedly we will uh, look into the tetrahedral right so with this orientation of looking right what is there right centrally situated carbon left side right side two hydrogens and front back two hydrogens right what i am right centrally situated carbon left right two hydrogens front back two hydrogens right so that i am writing here right so in the plane there are two hydrogens left and right and in non plane 
there are two hydrogens one is above another is below right one is above and another is below right in fisher projection we look uh, we write like this only na uh, normal lines for the planar bonds bold line for the uh, above bond and broken bond will the uh, below bond right that's how right this particular structure this particular structure both are one and same there is no change i am doing right the orientation how look into the tetrahedral i just made it and change right for this particular structure i just slightly shifted like this right this is tetrahedral generally you, you look at na i just right made it like this right so with this right i have generated this particular structure now in this particular structure looking in here right now you try to do the rotational axis right so how orientationally when we take in rotational axis right to do 180 degrees rotation angle will generate an equivalent configuration have you got yeah that's the way if anybody got very good if if you are not getting let us let us try to give like this right i am taking an axis which is passing through only carbon which is in between of uh, planar hydrogens as well as in between of non planar hydrogens right i am taking an axis which is passing through like this right from the hydro, from the carbon side right which is in between of non planar hydrogens which is in between of planar hydrogens like that when we take and do 180 degrees of rotation what happens what happens here right by do the by doing this right the angular of 180 degrees of rotation will surely generate an equivalent configuration isn't it is it generate or not doing here you look here i am doing 180 degrees of rotation right the third, fourth hydrogen may not be looking here but it is here right it is still here right isn't it right now doing 180 degrees of rotation you just first initially look into the hydrogens what you are look at right so doing 180 degrees of rotation this is what right initially we take in this above right front and back hydrogens you look at right what happening for the 180 degrees of rotation they are exchanged each other isn't it the exchange of front and back hydrogens are done or not right same to that so when we are going for a non planar right planar hydrogens right these two planar hydrogens when we do 180 degrees of rotation they will exchange their position also right this is what the 180 degrees of rotation where again the no planar hydrogens also get exchange the position right so like this right when we do 180 degrees of rotation by taking an axis a passing through carbon atom which is in between of non planar hydrogens and planar hydrogens they get exchange the non planar hydrogens and planar hydrogens by each other and it's give you a equivalent configuration it generates an equivalent configuration right so here h2 will come the above will go h1 and left side will come h3 right side will come h4 right so this is an equivalent configuration right by with the equivalent configuration generation this particular rotational axis will be called as right second fold rotational axis doing second time identical configuration will generates right so like this it will be have a c2 rotational axis in tetrahedral molecule right looking into this tetrahedral molecule with respect to of the properties of the molecule right right edges vertices and diagonal when we look right it is an axis is perpendicular for an two uh, opposite edges right when we look into this particular high, uh, edge and this particular edge when we consider for thus two edges 
opposite edges when we are perpendicularly apply an axis which is passing through carbon atom and in between of uh, non uh, non planar hydrogens and planar hydrogens doing 180 degrees of rotation generates an uh, c2 rotational axis right so here we are applying a axis which is perpendicular for a two uh, opposite edges right so when we consider here there are six edges right totally six edges are there so when we go with opposite edges right there will be three pairs of opposite edges opposite edges will be three pairs isn't it right for this particular edge this will be an opposite for this particular edge this will be an opposite for this particular edge this will be opposite like this all three pairs of opposite edges will be there right so with respect of that here there will be three c2 axis will be in the tetrahedral molecule all together all the rotational axis in the tetrahedral there will be e and 4 c3-1s plus 4 c3-2s plus 3 c2s all together there are 12 12 rotational axis are there in tetrahedral right there is no more uh, uh, rotational axis in the tetrahedral there is an third fold rotational axis and second fold rotational axis the third fold rotational axis are 8 and 3 second fold rotational axis are possible in uh, tetrahedral multi right so when we look into the total elements for the tetrahedral molecule the order of tetrahedral is 24 in this all 24 elements 12 are uh, only rotational axis right all 12 are rotational axis and the other 12 will be the other elements right so looking into those other elements so here we will be take the planes now considering the planes right so the planes how they the how they go, go is right it has dihedral plane the tetrahedral will have dihedral plane how does the dihedral plane here we can have is to get the dihedral plane what we require to consecutive c2 axis right here by this particular uh, c2 rotational axis how he generate how we generated by choosing an two opposite pairs of edges there is an one c2 like this and with this two opposite pair of edge another c2 right this is c2 and this is c2 right the angle whatever it generate here in between of two c2s bisecting of that when we pass a plane which is passing through carbon and two of hydrogens right there the carbon and thus hydrogens will get the same position whereas the remain two hydrogens get reflected each other right it is 1 2 3 4 when we say to consider the labeling so the 1 3 gets the same in the position because it bisected the plane into equal half so the equal half will get reflected h3 h1 and carbon and whereas the plane is middle for the h4 and h2 so thus two hydrogens will get reflected and the reflection of similar hydrogens will generate an equivalent configuration so far this particular plane will be called as plane of symmetry and as it is bisecting the two c2 consecutive c2s angle it will be called as dihedral plane of symmetry dihedral plane of symmetry right so like this how we have this particular plane when we see look into the edges when we look into the edges right edge it is generating by the when we connecting two vertices there is an edge right so here when we connect h1 and h3 that is also an edge so with respect of edge when we apply a plane right which is bisecting the two consecutive c2s angle and reflecting the hydrogens to generate an equivalent configuration 
we are getting an uh, dihedral plane so here with one edge we are getting one dihedral plane totally we have six edges so with the six edges there will be six dihedral planes will possible six dihedral planes will be possible so like this there will be six dihedral plane in tetrahedral geometry so not only edges there will be an improper axis also there for the uh, tetrahedral multi so to have the improper axis again i would like to go with this particular structure where there will be two planar hydrogens there will be two non planar hydrogens right taking considering this right this doing one time an equivalent configuration second time it will be generate an identical configuration right so here for the improper axis i do consider such structure where middle carbon two hydrogens are non plane two hydrogens are in plane and here by taking an axis similar to the c2 and doing 90 degrees of rotation right 90 degrees of rotation what happens when we do 90 degrees of rotation the abo these are the abo hydrogens which are non plane the below hydrogens are in plane no? when i do a 90 degrees of angle rotation right taking an axis like this and doing 90 degrees of rotation what happens you look right if i do complete rotation from here this hydrogen to here it will be 180 so getting half of it it will be 90 so this is what the half right this is what the half isn't it so this is the original configuration what we consider doing 90 degrees is will be this right what happened it before the rotation the top for two hydrogens are in non planar one is above another is below when i do the 90 degrees what happened they came into plane left and right they became right so the top hydrogens are became planar right the planar will be h1 is here h2 is here right planar it happened right h2 is towards it so it get this position and h1 is that position and it gets this right in plane right so same to that and the downer hydrogens when we consider which are in plane now before the rotation when i do 90 degrees of rotation what happened it they became non plane they became non plane one is above the other is below right one is above the other is below so when i when it happens right so h4 will be the above and h3 will become below right that's how it happens otherwise this is you broken line you write below h3 and above h4 here i write right so that's how it happening right so you never bother about this particular configuration to compare with original right i am doing an improper axis we are uh, intends to do improper axis which is rotation followed by reflection so now i would like to do reflection which is perpendicular for the rotational axis this is the rotational axis perpendicular nothing but this is how we have to apply isn't it the um, what we can say in vertically sorry it having an axis so horizontally we have to apply a plane which will be perpendicular for the rotational axis right so when we do thus right like this when we do thus like what happens the abo planar hydrogens will become in down right the non uh, the non planar hydrogens below will be go upward right so the carbon positions may be same because it is bisecting the the plane is bisecting the carbon so the halves of the carbons just reflected and the same position it will get whereas the here the reflection right so here will be h4 and here will be h3 and downward h1 h2 right now compare with original structure in downward two hydrogens left and right in downward two hydrogens left and right in above there are non planar hydrogens which are above one below one here also there is a non planar which is above one below one you don't uh, check it as as these are left and right 
right the above is left right the below is left on original here uh, that is changed that is not right so the bolder line it is indicating that above the broken line is indicating that below that that's only we have to consider for the non uh, non planar uh, bonds so here also there is a non planar bonds one is above another is below right here also one is above another is below that's it so with respect of that all this is also tetrahedral geometry and it is a equivalent configuration it is a equivalent configuration right rotation of 90 degrees and reflection generating an improper and equivalent configuration will be known as s4 improper axis of symmetry so doing second time another equ uh, equivalent configuration will generate doing third time another equivalent configuration will generate doing fourth time of s4 identical configuration will gets you just try for these equivalent configuration you surely gets the uh, result right so that's how the s4 improper axis in tetrahedral geometry right all together when we check in tetrahedral multi tetrahedral point group td point group e will be there plus there are 4 c31 4 c32s plus 3 c2s right in addition to that there are 6 sigma d's will be there and when it come to s4s right how we got this s4 as the s2 is it is passing right this is when we do uh, 180 degrees of rotation with the same axis it is generating s2 so along the s2 we are applying s4 sorry along the c2 we are applying s4 right so how many s2s can be generated does the, the amount of uh, s4 will be generated isn't it what i am telling is right as s2 how orientedly we taken an axis this uh, sorry as c2 how orientedly we taken the axis same the orientation we taken the uh, axis for the s4 so along the s2 we are done s4 so there are three s2s uh, sorry three c2s you know that right so as there are three c2s there will be three s4s yes, also will generate right since along the c2 we are having an s4 so there are three c2s there will be three s4 will be generates so all together there are three s4 one plus three s4 threes will be there right so when we look into the improper axis there will not be any improper axis when we inverts the position what happens the topward hydrogen will get down and downward three hydrogens gets upward and that is a not an equivalent configuration for the inversion of atom so it could not be possible in tetrahedral i cannot be possible in tetrahedral so all together these are the elements it will have right and they are totally 24 right 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 floor 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 6 is 18 18 plus 3 is 21 21 plus 3 is 24 so that's how there are 24 elements possible in tetrahedral multi along the uh rota uh, sorry vertices and trigonal plane there will be s4 possible right from the each vertices and trigonal face opposite trigonal face there will be s uh, sorry c3 c4 sir sorry c3 sorry sorry so, there will be c3 is well possible from the vertices to trigonal right from the vertices to tri opposite trigonal face there will be c3 is are possible and c31 c32 44 44 right from the opposite pair of edge there is an c2 possible and from the each edge there will be dihedral planes will be possible and from the each uh, c2s there are also 3 s4s are possible 3 s4 1 and 3 s4 3s that all together there are 24 elements in the tetrahedral multi right have you got so that's how the tetrahedral point group hope this would be a uh, very flexible and very comfortable video to get the point group right thank you